Hey, what's happening guys? Uh, today's video is going to be an answer to a question that I was asked a while back um, about using an op amp with a single supply. So, you know, for instance, here's our op amp, there's our inverting, our non-inverting, our output. And then of course we have our V plus and our V minus. And what we usually do is use a split supply so our V plus is like plus 12 volts and our V minus is like minus 12 volts. And then the op amp can swing within that group. But maybe you don't have a way to get a split supply or maybe you don't want to mess with a split supply. So what you can set up is what's called a virtual ground. And it's not that hard. If we have our supply rail coming in here at plus 12 volts, okay? And we have our ground rail here, we'll say zero volts. If we just make a little circuit like this, What we will have here is one half of VCC, which is our virtual ground. And in this case, I'm using uh, 10 microfarad capacitors and 33K resistors, and I am feeding in 12 volts to our rail. Now, the circuit that I'm running decided to redraw this to make it a lot easier for us to see. So we have 12 volts and 0 volts. And those are our rails. Then we have a capacitor divider, a resistor divider, And where those two come together is our virtual ground. Now, for those of you who are sticklers, then we also have our signal source, which is 3 volt DC square wave at 1 kilohertz. And then we have our op amp inverting amplifier circuit and that is V out. So this is an inverter so our V plus goes to the 12 volt rail our V minus goes to ground our non-inverting input connects to the virtual ground. We have RF, which connects there, 47K. And we have RN, 15K, which connects to our signal source. And our V out will be about 5.2 volts or somewhere in that general area out of there and let's bring in the goodness all right so here it is let's take a closer look at it now here we are creating our virtual ground we have 12 volts coming in here ground here. There are our two 10 microfarad capacitors. There are our two resistors. They are connected to this point. And if you follow this wire over here, it goes to pin 3, which is the non-inverting input of this TL072 op amp. Then we have this resistor here, which is a, a 
what did I say it was? Uh, 47K going between pin one and two, the output and the inverting input. And then we have our input resistor here, which is 15K feeding into pin two. Now feeding that is my signal generator feeding in a square wave, like I said, three volts. So uh, let's do a little rotation here and head on up to the oscilloscope. Now, channel two, the blue trace, is our input directly from the signal generator. And it is about three volts peak to peak. Uh, channel one, the yellow trace is our output from the op amp. And as you can see, it is considerably larger and is in fact 5.6 volts peak to peak. And if I vary the amplitude, you can see how everything changes. So that's it. Just a quick shot on how to do an inverting amplifier, and it'll work just as well for a non-inverting amplifier with a single supply rail. I hope you guys like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.